Let's have a look at this Homo sapien. He came to the world and brought three things with him. First, his life. We can perhaps call it time. And let's say 70 years. Secondly, his potential or abilities. Third, his list of things to do in 70 years time. Now let's check out his things to do list. He has got three kinds of lists. In the first list, there are things that he needs for survival, like water, food, shelter, safety, and so on. The second list has things like wishes, desires, passions, and dreams. And to define it a little more, this list has things related to his joy and comfort. In the third list, he has his long-term life goals, the purpose of life, and missions. To be more precise, he just wants to be useful for the world and its inhabitants in any possible way. Now our topic gets easier for discussion. A man with his potential has got 70 years to check out all his to-do lists. Along with so many other wishes, this man has one specific kind of wish. And that is, he wants to have value, respect, and importance in this world. He wants that people love him, care about him, and admire him. All of us who are watching this video are his audience. Perhaps we can give him good suggestions. What would you advise him to focus on, so that other humans give him importance? And since there are three lists, therefore he might need a different kind of suggestion. Let's assume that he's working on his first list, which means he's living for his survival. We need to be respectful to this person. So the first thing which we would probably say to him is, if he's working hard and somehow fulfilling his own needs, he is already a hero. For thousands of years, humans were living for survival, and therefore, it's a matter of pride to help yourself and earn food to eat, a place to live, and clothes to wear. He is important because he's trying his best to use his potential to live a comfortable life. Now, let's suggest him something if he is busy in his second list, which means he is living for fun and comfort. How can this man be important to us? Let's see what we can suggest. Okay, we can probably tell him, have fun and enjoy your life. You are spreading positive energy, and that's what makes you important to others. Have fun in your life, and keep spreading positive vibes in your surroundings. Secondly, we can perhaps tell him that, if you want to get love, you should love others. And if you want to get importance, you should give value and importance to other people. Third, we can probably tell him to start thinking of list number three, because... We humans appreciate others when they become useful for others. Now let's talk about him if he's actually into his third list. He wants to be useful for the earth before he dies. But at the same time, he also wants importance and value in the world. We are his audience. We're watching him doing good things. He wants to be a hero, but at the same time, he has a tremendous longing to help other humans. He knows it's his mission, but whenever we clap for him, he forgets about the mission and begins to enjoy being special and being a hero. Quite interesting, huh? On the one hand, he is working on the ground for other humans, and on the other hand, he is battling in his mind to value his goals instead of thinking to value himself. Now, for some of you, it might not make any sense, but we need to understand human psychology. The pleasure of being a hero is more than anything in the whole world. That's why the situation of this man is more like someone who dives into the water to save someone from drowning. But as soon as he touches the water, he feels so good that he forgets about the drowning man and begins to enjoy swimming in the water. So let's help him to come out of this loop. Probably, we can tell him, enjoy being a hero, and at the same time, work hard on your mission. Your hard work and your kind heart are quite rare. Not many people think like you. So if you are busy helping others, being a hero is your reward. You may face hardship, and therefore sometimes you may feel down. Use this energy to motivate yourself and work harder. Secondly, we can perhaps play with his mind by saying, You are our hero. We value you, and therefore you are also supposed to appreciate yourself. Look at yourself with our perspective. You are important to us because of your intentions and your mission. Treat yourself as a third person and appreciate this man just the way we do. Thirdly, we can probably tell him, 
The feelings of being a hero may not stay with you for a long time. Perhaps it's part of your journey to feel this way. Keep going and work hard. With age and time, your mature part will take over your mind, and then it would get easier to work selflessly on your goals. What else can we tell them? Hmm. Okay, perhaps we can also say your area of work, or let's say your stage, might have other performers as well, and their interests might contradict your interests. So when you think of helping others, these people with different interests may probably try to stop you. That's because your good work might target their business. When you don't compromise on your goals, they will even try to hurt you. And when you continue your work, despite everything, your sacrifice will automatically take your attention from yourself to your mission. That's how all great people emerge in human history from time to time. Their tough journey made them useful for others after they took a stand for the cause. Let's summarize this discussion in a one-line question. What is more important? You, your life, or your work? Well, we can probably say that the things which we do in our lives are the most important of all. And because of that, we and our lives are equally important. However, we can probably criticize the mentality to seek importance. Why would one even think of being a hero in the first place? Well, it's understandable that naturally humans want to have respect. But is it the only motive of our act? Perhaps importance is a byproduct and not the final reason of our hard work. So probably, responsibility is the right word to use here. Which means we do things in our lives because we feel responsible for them. We are serving ourselves, our family, and trying our best to take care of others because being a human, it's our job and duty. However, sometimes our potential may not allow us to serve others. But there is something which we all can do all the time, and that is to support those who are doing something good in the society already. With that being said, Solid Clarity is a new channel, and our goal is to inspire the world. But our team can't do this alone. We need all of you to be a part of our team, and it's quite simple. Just like the video and subscribe to the channel. This will help us to reach many people in a short time. So please, join our journey, and let's do good things together. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be supportive to feel important all the time.